Well, the ARH folks did not disappoint on May 4th, and we got an announcement for Resurgence, ARH's seventh set. So let's talk the ARH7 teaser as well as rotation. A huge shout out to our channel members for supporting what we do here. If you want to get involved with the channel and the Dice Commando community, please consider joining as a channel member. Remember, these videos are only possible with your support. You can show that support with a like, a subscribe, and by leaving us a comment and sharing your feedback. Community first, and go Commando. Hey there, Star Wars Destiny folks. Welcome back to Dice Commando and the Commando cast, and happy belated May 4th, which makes it happy Cinco de Mayo. But thank you all for tuning in. Now, I do apologize for this being late, but I was expecting, anticipating, I should say, an announcement yesterday on the 4th. So I waited to shoot until last night, and then I was not able to shoot last night. So I'm up early this morning instead of working out. We're doing this, but we're up on Friday. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. All right, so the announcement yesterday came. Let me get it pulled up there from Echo 3 of Clubs Resurgence. Coming June, keep your eyes peeled for spoiler season beginning at the end of the month. That's not going to be that far away. That's pretty cool. So spoiler season starts at the end of the month. We would expect the release date to be probably the end of June because usually they do a three-week or three week spoiler season, something to that effect. But we will see how it goes this time around. So uh, before we get into the rest of the discussion, I did want to throw up something. This, you know, we've got a platform here, and let's get it in front. So we have a tournament in Boston. So this is uh, Casey and his folks doing, you know, kicking off the Destiny scene there, right? So there's a free tournament on Sunday, May 7th. So that's two days away if you've seen it. But wanted to make sure and get in fat in front if you're in the Boston area. And go out and play some Smash. And also to that end, you'll notice that I have down there, there we go. I've added a Destiny News. It seems to be the best way to get events and stuff out there. Why not use the platform? And if you want something added, just let me know and we can add it. And then hopefully I'll remember to take it off after the, <laughs> after the date expires. But it's a new new pilot program we're running here. All right, yeah, so let's talk ARH7. That's all we know. But what we do know is that ARH7 is a big milestone. I, I realize we've been saying that every set, it seems like, for the last couple sets, but it's because each one does trigger something. And ARH7 will trigger, will be the first time that ARH is rotating an ARH set. Right? Faltering allegiances will rotate out with the drop of resurgence. So that's an interesting discussion around what happens, how they handle it reprint lists and and so on so i just kind of wanted to give my thoughts real quick and again I, ha I have no inside information at all just wanted to kind of throw out some thoughts and kind of how maybe it would work so yeah let's go there so just to you know baseline everyone what what we have currently is the echoes of destiny reprint list now the echoes of destiny reprint list as of today, is only FFG cards. It's FFG legal cards. And that's an interesting discussion in of itself of if we start reprinting ARH cards, do we throw them on the Echoes of Destiny set or do we create a new set, right? The Echoes of ARH or whatever they want to call it. And, and I, I do think that's probably what should be done just to distinguish the two sets of cards and I, I know it might functionally seem a little clunky a total I mean again it, it doesn't like matter it's not going to like change anything or any opinions or anything like that but I do think that there's value in having distinction between the two card pools and again I realize it's clunky to like have reprint set a reprint set b but you know it does give a little flexibility as to popping cards in and out of each and the other you know, part of this is having the ARH core set, right? Whatever we want to call it, the echo, echoes of ARH, lets them really, it gives them more design flexibility or not really flexibility. It gives them more design nimbleism because it can let them design smaller sets in theory because they have, in theory at least, a bunch of base cards. Now, here's why I don't think we're going to see much of a change in that is that remember we'll go back to faltering allegiances the big mechanic in that set was detect and there's been a couple detect carry forward cards since redemption had a few but by and large 
we haven't seen a whole bunch of detect coming back. So I can, I don't know that FA, and maybe we'll do that in a later cast. Actually, that seems like a good idea for later cast. We'll come back and look at the cards that should be, or maybe could be, maybe not should, but could be reprinted from that set. But, you know, there's only, there's only a handful of them probably. And that's, that's probably why we won't see any functional structure change with resurgence dropping is I, I don't know that you're going to see a lot of FA getting reprinted because they don't necessarily need them unless of course they want to at a later point come back and I mean heck maybe it's resurgence of detect that's fair maybe that's the I imagine I my head went to resurgence of the force but I suppose it could be resurgence of detect in which case they would need to reprint some but that that doesn't that doesn't seem right detect overall was you know it was really it was a really cool mechanic but it hasn't really been supported and I don't think people are sad about that overall. So I, I don't know that it will be reprinted. But so, you know, let sound off below. Let me know what y'all's thoughts are around this. Do you, you know, is, is my proposal, I mean, again, again, it doesn't, doesn't matter. They're going to do what they're going to do. Um, but d does my logic make sense as to why having the, the two card pools stay separate just from a a functional standpoint on ARH versus FFG, kind of having that historical group versus, you know, like the ARH. Because in theory, as ARH, one, I guess where my head is on this, right, is in theory, as ARH develops over the years and brings in new mechanics or rotates other mechanics out, that reprint list should, could, change a lot more than like the echoes of destiny one would so it, it seems to me that like how, how i view the echoes of destiny kit the ffg not kit the echoes of destiny set with all the ffg cards is f functionally yes stuff moves in and out of it i grant you that but now that ffg cards are completely gone <clears throat> and have been for a while we're kind of getting to the point where that set's going to become more and more stable by and large and it almost seems like that's forms the core set for this game so that's kind of what i'm that's kind of where my head is at is like you know at some point we're going to essentially know which ffg cards we have forever give or take one or two and then the arh reprint list can be a lot more dynamic as they need to support whatever new mechanic or whatever new theme they're trying to push within their new sets. So it just, it just tracks to me. So it just tracks to me that that would be a lot, a lot better way to do it. Instead of having echoes of destiny have to change every set, echoes of destiny would be relatively set. And then you could have the ARH of echoes of ARH. That's a lot more dynamic and changeable. So anyway, that's kind of my, my thoughts and where that's at. I, again, I don't even know what's the thing that they need to do yet, because I think that by and large, FA is not going to have a lot that gets seen again. But, you know, again, if, if they're going to do another card that's doing the, something the same, they may as well just reprint it, right? And save everybody the time of having to print out new stuff or buy new stuff or whatever it may be. So anyway, that's my piece. Uh, again, happy belated May 4th and happy May 5th. And have a great weekend. If you're in Boston area, go check out the stuff. And if nothing else, go Commando.